Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. What is the airspeed velocity of an unladen swallow? I know that's a complicated question to answer, but it's not as complicated to answer the question, what is RSS? Stands for really simple syndication. Chances are you've seen RSS before, but you may not have known what to do with it. I get the question all the time. What is it? What, what benefit does it do me? Well, the way Ponzi explains RSS, it's like getting the internet that you want the way you want it in a most convenient fashion. It basically lets a website let you know that it's updated. So have you ever been stuck with a website that you have to keep checking it every 10 minutes to see if it's updated anything? Well, if it has an RSS feed, you can subscribe to it and then using what they call a news reader or a news aggregator, anytime that site updates, you don't have to go to it, it will let your news reader know. I will demonstrate for you, it's really simple. So I'm over here on chris.perillo.com forward slash media. This is where we archive all the recorded videos, including the one that we're doing now, which would be really weird. Uh, so here on this page in the uh, t uh, st address bar where the, the, the link for the, uh, this particular web page is, there's this little orange icon. And if you can't see it because it's kind of hard to see, let me move over in front of the chat room there. There's the big one. I put a, a nice, big, fat orange icon there. That is the RSS icon. Now, it's going to look different uh, depending on the browser you're using. I happen to be using Firefox on the Mac right now. Uh, and, and here, if I click this little orange button, it'll take me to the RSS uh, page. Now, I've already configured it to automatically add RSS feeds that I like to Google because I, use, uh, I, I like to, when I'm on the web, I use Google as a way to collect all of my RSS feeds. So they've got, I can add it to my Google homepage or I can add it to Google Reader. That's their version of an RSS or a news aggregator, Google Reader. People love Google Reader, by the way. So I've populated in there. Now I've added that feed. So no matter where I go, all the feeds that I want to keep track of are listed right here in Google Reader, including what I just added, the Chris Perillo Show. So here's like all the content, the re most recent content for my website is right here. So I could literally read the website without ever visiting it. Now, that being said, if I wanted to leave a comment for this particular post, I would have to visit the original web page, which I hope most of you do if you leave a comment. So that's one thing RSS doesn't really help you with right now. You can't comment on things. You can't add your own two cents. Like, for instance, if you want to comment and say what news aggregator you use, what do you use to read RSS, you'll have to come to the original page to leave the comment. But at least you can be notified when we publish new files this way. And you can do this for video feeds, for audio feeds, or regular old blogs, for, for image feeds. It doesn't matter. Just about every website that has to do with content on the Internet has RSS. You love RSS, you just probably don't even know it. Uh, it's just an easier way of keeping track of information. And if you have any other questions about how to go about using RSS, swing by the chat room live.perillo.com. We'll do our best to help you.